Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful vest. I made this vest a long time ago and I decided to make it for you. I made this vest for a magazine that I was making and also when I used to go to all these fairs and where I met a lot of you, I remember that you used to crochet this beautiful vest a lot but because it was super easy and beautiful and it was easy to sell it too but well before we start I want to invite all of you to subscribe now I will give you the material list well for this vest we are going to need 300 grams of this material that is between light and medium weight yarn I will use it in white and I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters this will be a small size well we are going to start from the bottom first we are going to make 25 chains okay please make sure that you didn't twist and that you don't tie too much if you feel that you crochet too tight well I suggest that you change your hook for a bigger number for the number four well at the end of the 25 chains we are going to make one two more we will count one two three and in the fourth chain right there we will insert and make the first double crochet then we will in next to it sorry we are going to make a double crochet so here we will have at the beginning three double crochet you see then two chains we will skip one two and in the third a double crochet and like this we are going to make 15 okay so the double crochet will be out of three crochet so we will take one then two and then three okay so like this is how we are going to make 15 one in each stitch okay so see you at the end when we finish to make the 15 well at the end of the 15 double crochet we are going to make two chains then we will count two and in the third we are going to insert the hook and make the last three double crochet so here we have one then two and the last one three for the edge okay so this will be the end of the first row well at the end we are going to turn around and we will go up with one two three chains then we are going to make two more and then inside right here we are going to make a double crochet out of three crochet remember then again inside a second double crochet then a third double crochet all of them in the same space then one two two chains and then we are going to reduce we will count two and in the third a double crochet then again we will count two and in the third a double crochet and like this is how we are going to continue making these squares and in the spaces this segment of three double crochet well what we are doing here is that we are going to alternate the spaces so for example here that we have this square well first we will make the double crochet of the edge right so three chains and then inside we are going to make the segment of three double crochet and then we are going to alternate we are going to follow this series until we have five rows so here in this space the segment of three double crochet then we are going to make two chains and we will have a kind of escalator here of squares so in the last row we have 11 double crochet so now with increasing these squares at the end we will have seven double crochet okay so see you at the end of this row here I will continue well I did get ahead because I want to show you I think that the fact that you see it you will find it easy so I did get ahead I went up with five chains remember that here I told I you to finish with seven 
double crochet so, so in the next row I continue and I reduce and at the end we only have one segment left and it was a kind of escalator so now that we have this row in all the spaces we are going to make the segment of three double crochet and well right here you see one two three four and five rows you see and we have this drawing now we are going to turn around and in this side we are going to make 12 six chains and we are going to insert the hook at the end of the first square you see now we are going to sleep until the other space until right here and now we are going to turn around and now that we are here right here inside we are going to make the shell so one double crochet then two three as you could see we are making this double crochet out of three crochet four five six seven let me take more yarn eight and like this we are going to make 12 double crochet you will see this is the secret of this best that we will have this extra shell that people won't know how you make it but you and me will know the secret right so like this we are going to make 12 double crochet as you could see out of three crochet and then here we have 12 then we are going to continue this row and we are going to repeat these segments because at the end we want to have the drawing of a diamond so I will show you how so we will go up with one two chains and then in this space we are going to make the segment of three double crochet so in this row basically we are going to continue making in the spaces the segments of three double crochet and then in the comment rows we are going to repeat the series that we I mean the rows that we made and we will make the opposite I will show you in the next row we are going to make this one then this one and we will finish with this row and here I finished the row but now I will we are here right so now I will draw the one that we have here so we are going to make this segment of three double crochet then we are going to make this double crochet over double crochet okay and then we will finish with the next segment of three double crochet but instead we are only going to make two because if we count we must have the same number in this row than in the row that we have here so like this we are going to continue uh, making the opposite but yeah. don't run too fast because see you here to teach you what's next and well here I finished the row you see now we are going to make the here double crochet over double crochet but between we are going to make a chain I promise that only you and me will know how we make this and it will look amazing at the end well remember that as a base we have 12 so we must have 12 here but with one chain between so we will start counting from here okay so we must have 12 and we will finish right here closing the row is slipping one then we are going to slip one until here until the top and well here we are going to start the next row and the last row of this shell so now that we are here we are going to make double crochet over double crochet but we will finish this with a picot so we will go up with three chains and we are going to come back and make a single crochet then without making any chain or so we are going to make a double crochet then one two sorry it was two chains I told you three so my mistake so two chains and we will come back and a single crochet so at the end remember we must have 12 
So we will have 12 double crochet with a picot each one. Okay, so like this, the whole row. Well, so look here, I finished the 12 double crochet with a picot. Then I will continue with the drawing. And now, according to it, here I will make the segment. So I will make two chains. And here inside, I will make three double crochet. So as you could see, we are going to make the, this half moon and while we make this we are going to continue with our rows so so far I hope that you don't have any doubt and remember that we are going to repeat what we made before in this series that we made before remember that here we are going to add two double crochet in each side and we will finish like we started with one square so look, here I finished the row and now we are going to make 5 rows more and then again we are going to draw again this half moon. So if you count, here we finish with 15 double crochet in this last row that we made. So now we are going to start reducing. So here we have 15, we will have uh, 11 here then seven and then three double crochet and then in the fifth row we are going to uh, start making the half moon again well so here i finished one two three four and five rows so as you could see here we have throw this diamond inside then so according to the row, we reduce or we increase two double crochet each side. So now that we are here, we are going to start with the half moon. So we are going to make first six chains, so five and six. So we will skip these two rows and at the end of the second row, we are going to make a single crochet. So as you could see here, we skip two rows, then we are going to slip one. Here we are going to slip when we are passing through this first row. Okay, now that we are here, we will come back and insert the hook right where we made the six chains. And right there, we are going to start with the shell. And inside, we are going to make 12 double crochet and then we are going to continue uh, after this 12 double crochet to the other side and we will while well, we make the drawing of the shell we are going to complete also the diamond so remember that according of the sequence we are going to reduce or increase to throw the diamond so it's very easy to just have to follow what we made in this first part so in case you have a doubt you can come back to the first part and to see how it is right now here we are just making a review well so here i finished the 12th double crochet so now we are going to continue with the throwing right so we are going to start making these two chains please just relax and you will see that the stitch pad it owns will lead you what's next so then here inside we are going to make the segment of three double crochet and we are going to continue with the instructions remember that here we are uh, making again what we made before at the end of the row we are going to come back and right here we are going to make this row of double crochet one chain then we are going to uh, slip one and then continue with the row of double crochet with picot so this is what I was telling you, okay? So we arrive here, now we are going to make the, th the row of double crochet and then one chain, double crochet and one chain and like this the whole row. Okay, so here I finished the row and I will slip one to close the row and then I will slip until the first row and then from there I will turn around and I will continue making the double crochet but now remember 
that in each double crochet we are going to make a picot. So we are going to make two extra rows and then, sorry, two extra chains. <laughs> I'm sorry. And we are going to make a picot. And this is basically what we are going to repeat. So as you could see, this is one series and here so far we have two series. So we are going to continue making a long strip until it covers the widest part of our body, okay? So if, if we want to make this vest until the waist or until uh, the hips, well, you are going to take the measurement of that side and you are going to cover this with this long strip of chains. Remember that here we are going to increase and then we are going to reduce to make the drawing of the diamond. And by having the diamond you will check. Well, here I finished, I continue, I made eight series, so I have eight complete shells. So let me check, here I have two, four, six and eight. For a small size I think that it's enough. So if you want to make this vest for a larger size, well you are going to make more series like this one, right? So once you are sure, we are ready to continue. Uh, one way to check that you are doing it right, it's that you have to check that here you have the drawings of the diamonds and that you have all the rows complete please check them before you finish each uh, series and all the diamonds must be in the same line. You will see it's so easy once you make it, it will be perfect. So here we are going to finish the row making the last double crochet for the edge and well from now on we are going to continue the rows uh, in horizontal Yes, in our example. So we will go up with three chains and here we are going to continue making only a mesh stitch. Okay, so this will be the bottom and now from here we are going to continue to the bottom to the top. We are going to make rows of mesh stitch. So first we are going to make three double crochet, then two chains. And remember that in the space is where we are going to make the segments of three double crochet. Like this we are going to continue making more rows. I will make 14 rows, I will let you know if I will make more or less. But I will continue, remember, until here, then I will come back and like this I will continue until I have 14 rows, okay? And we will stop right there to divide and to make the armholes. So remember, if you want it longer, well, you are going to make more than 14. So please try on and see if you want to make more or less rows, okay? But we'll see you there to teach you how we are going to divide to make the armholes and what's next. So let's continue. Well, so here I finished the 14th rows, okay? If you count the rows, I have 14. So I think that for me, the long is enough. Now I counted the spaces. And once you have all the spaces, you are going to divide this into four. And then each four parts, you are going to divide. And the first fourth will be for the front. Then the next two will be for the back. And the fourth fourth will be for the second front. Okay, so here you are going to put a marker or a thread in a different color to point it out. We are going to leave three spaces here without a um, crochet, okay? This will be the space for the armhole. So right here I'm going to continue, I will put a marker because from here to the end I will leave these three spaces. So right here I will put a marker because from here to the other side and I will make the same in the other side too. I will make some rows for the back and this will be the rows for the front and this will be the space of the armholes. Well, I will make first the fronts. So here I did get a head, I made one row. Now I turn around, remember that we are going to stop where the marker is to point it out from where goes the first front, okay? so. Always in this side, 
we are going to continue straight and we will start with three double crochet of this will be the three double crochet of the edge then we are going to continue with the stitch inside of the spaces we are going to make three double crochet and then two chains and three double crochet until here in this side we are going to reduce to make the v-neck that we want and i will show you so we are going to stop right there well here we finished the row and we are about to finish so without making any chain or so we are going to continue right away making the double crochet of the edge so we are going to make two then turn around and like here in this side is where we are going to reduce and make the v neck we will go up with two double crochet for the edge remember and then right away without making any chain or so we are going to jump to the next space and continue with the stitch until we arrive to the other side remember that in the other side where is the marker we are going to continue straight in that side only here in this part we are going to lean to make the v-neck that we want and remember here at the beginning of the row and at the end we will finish with two double crochet and in the other side we will start and finish with three double crochet like this until the shoulders well i did continue i made 11 throws from the marker to here i will show you one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and eleven throws so here i stop reducing then the last two rows i didn't reduce and i continue straight okay as you could see here we have this linen side that will be for the neck and here we did continue straight with three double crochet always at the beginning and at the end of the row and the same way we did this first front we are going to make the second front the same and in the back here where is the um, second marker we are going to continue straight both sizes because will be the back okay so here i finish please check that all the parts have the same number of rows at the end i made 15 so the two fronts must have 15 and the back must have 15 rows so now that we have all the parts ready with the same number of rows and everything we are going to join please check that all the parts are facing to the right side this is the right side i want that you tell the difference and this is the wrong size can you tell it looks like more like curly i don't know if you see it and this is like more plain so this is the right side so before we join we must have be facing the the best to the right side but like i want that the joint and the pleat be facing to the wrong side so that's why i made this twist if not also you can like totally like turn over <laughs> but in this case well you just uh, going to face these two parts to the wrong side so when we finish and when we turn we can have the pleat and the joint facing to the wrong side and inside right well we are going to join like this we are going to use the hook in this case but also you can use them right in it all and uh, like it's easier for you you will decide so you are going to go in order and you are going to take one stitch from one side and one stitch from the other side and we are going to make a single crochet and we are going to make the same in the other shoulder too okay so here it's how it looks joined in the wrong in the right side and in the wrong side we have the pleat so it's totally okay at the end we are going to hide all the threads that we may have this is the sleeve i will make a single crochet row all around and also in the sides remember that in the bottom we already have the shells so it's beautiful we are going to leave it like this so we are going to make in the sides and all around the armholes a row of single crochet and then we are going to come back making a crab stitch so i will show you how well at the end of the single crochet row because i already made that part 
uh, we are going to make the craft stitch. Please, in this part, it's very important that you don't uh, skip too many spaces and that you crochet a little bit loose, okay? Because if we crochet too tight, the shape of our vest may distort and it will look queer. Also, I always suggest that before you make a crab stitch row, you make a single crochet row. It is like the base for uh, this beautiful stitch and you will tell the difference once you make without and once you make it with. To me, it has a better, better ending, okay? So, the crab stitch is like the single crochet but backwards. Can you see? Well, to make the uh, bottoms of our vest, this is optional. If you want, you can put some bottoms that are already made or a brooch or so. But I want to teach you how you can crochet them. Well, we are going to start making four chains. Then we are going to close in circle. You will see how beautiful they will look. And then inside we are going to make single crochet. And we are going to make as many as we can, okay? So we are going to make many, many, many inside until it looks like chunky and full, okay? And beautiful. So we are going to continue like this. Here I'm having a bit of trouble with this material. It is so beautiful, but some parts I got stuck. So we are going to continue making single crochet inside. So here I finished the first row and I put a lot of rows. Sorry, a lot of single crochet. So without closing the row, we are going to continue inside. And as you could see, I'm making more single crochet over the ones that I made. And also inside, inserting the hook right in the middle. So we are going to continue making more and more. And I will show you how it looks. I did get ahead and actually I made this same vest in a different color. So at the end, once we fill all the spaces, we are going to fold it like this and we will have a kind of mushroom, you see? It looks so cute and I made this vest in this color and between them I made some chains to join them so we can close our vest. So in this case for this video I'm showing you how you can make it in white. And well here I finished as you could see we can barely see the hole inside. So now we are going to cut a long thread and with this loop and with our hook we are going to pass this thread. So for example here I'm going to kind of slip one and close. Okay, now this thread we are going to pass it through all the spaces like this. Okay, with our hook, one here and then one from the other side. So in all the stitches, then in the other side. So we are going to make this because at the end with this thread, we are going to pull the thread and we are going to close and make the effect of a mushroom. So we have this thread here. Now behind, we are going to pull it like this and we are going to close and make this beautiful bottom. So like this we are going to make two and then we are going to put some chains between and we are going to make the brush that I show you. So I hope that you all enjoy making this beautiful vest with me. If you want to see the result, uh, please follow me and all my social media. I made this vest for many people when I used to crochet and sell my garments. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.